All right, boom, boom, boom. It's your boy Enigma September, and this is the Enigma Sep Hour. It's your boy Enigma Sep. If you haven't recognized or realized that yet, um, yo, right now, right now, right now, we are going live on Facebook. This is new. It's some new, new. Ain't tried this before yet, but we're gonna do it. Uh, this is episode one ten, and I got uh, actually a returning member. A returning member of the Enigma Self Hour, which is my man Naughty Black. So, let's, uh, oh, that's, that's, that, there we go. There we go. So, bruh. bruh. Yeah, the wrong button. <laughs> anyway, got my man Naughty Black. Yo, anybody out there um, in YouTube land, because I'm, I'm recording this, so anybody in YouTube land, uh, make sure. To hit the socials and also to hit freedomtrainradio.com where you get the podcast, all of the episodes, other podcasts. Um, yeah, 110. Actually, actually 111 because I did half an episode when I first started. So, yeah. Also, to shouts out to Freedom Train Radio, Shelby and Ken, Queen Candace over there with the Shel- in Shelby's World. Uh, we got Joe with the fix. We got Pat with Lessons from the Screen, Joe with On the Shoulders of Giants, and of course, Freedom Train Radio with Joe and Pat. If we can give y'all some um, some bouquet. Is it? Not bouquet. Ooh, not, not bouquet. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Mm-mm. Bruh. Mm-mm. Bruh. I mean, what is it? ASMR? Mm, that water is, is delicious. Yes. <laughs> Y'all some freaks, nasty asses. Anyway, um, like I said, I got Naughty Black going to be in the building, and we are doing the most right now. That's what we're doing. Me and him are doing the most. So, here we go. Boom, 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 and we back. It's boy Enigma September, and this is the Enigma Sep Hour, episode 110. And what you just heard, my man Bachi with the new single Hot. Shout out my man with the new video as well. So uh, he shot it to me. He shot it over real quick. Appreciate you, boy. Um, for those that don't know, got my man Naughty Black, aka the Bowtie Genius, gonna fall through tonight. So tonight, y'all probably won't listen to this in the morning. <laughs> but we're recording this at night. I wear my sunglasses at night. Yeah, I know. I got a whole little tune. I'm all right. I'm all right. Anyway, I'm going to fall through in the halfway mark. Until then, man, we're going to get into the news. The news. Um, not so happy news. Uh, if you don't know already, uh, Hurricane Sally Ride, Sally ride, Sally ride, Sally ride down the panhandle and cause some ruckus. Uh, two of our bros and, and friends of the podcast, uh, Wes, a.k.a. DJ Body Slinger, and, of course, Big Low um, were hit in that area. Uh, so we're going to send out peace and blessings and prayers to them to make sure that, you know, they're doing okay. Um, if there's anything you guys can do, in regards to uh, any of the relief, uh, please do so. But um, you mean, y'all boys keep our head up, man. As far as what I know right now, they're doing okay. But uh, yeah, we uh, oh, y'all watch, okay, we up. <laughs> Yo, let me, for those in, in YouTube land and Facebook land, I'm going live on Facebook right now and i'm gonna record this for youtube i'm recording the podcast so i know you guys probably like yo why is he repeating things because i'm recording the podcast for later so it'll all come together i'm gonna have a lot of editing to do hopefully my man pat don't have a lot of editing to do but yeah you're you're watching this live this is what this is what happens this is what happens anyway speaking of dropping videos Got my man Ashton Martin uh, this week dropped a video for his single "Water." Uh, left us with a with a, a cliffhanger at the end. So if you're on YouTube right now, 
after watching this video, shoot over to my man Ashton Martin page at it's Ashton Martin. Uh, it's I T S A S H T O N M A R T I N, and watch the video. It's dope, and uh, it'll leave you at the edge of your seat, literally. So, yeah, man, trying to be an actor. He's trying to be Hollywood. I see you, bro. I see you. I see you. And also, too, man, I'm, I'm going to drop the single uh, a little later. So you guys to get a taste of what it sounds like. Speaking of sounds, man, I was uh, just going through, trying to figure out what was what was popping what was popping? What's up, DJ A to the L? Figure out what was pop popping out here in these streets. And came across uh, my man Prado from the West Coast. Now, I've first time I heard the problem was when he was on uh, Because of the Internet, when Charles Gambino gave him a shout out doing one of the verses. And uh, I, I hadn't really heard anything since, really. But that's because I was asleep. I was I was asleep. I was sleeping with my boy. He dropped the uh I guess it would say an EP really today. Let me start hitting this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh Coffee and Kush Volume 2. That's how sleep I am. This is volume two, bruh. Volume two. I'm asleep. But anyway, my man's yo, the album dope, man. You know what make it dope? I ain't gonna front. The bass, I don't know. I didn't see who was doing the production, but the bass lines and all the songs were popping. <laughs> no, it was hitting. It was hitting. And it really made the song sound more rich. And then he was just, he was spitting. Um, maybe a takeaway, if you want to take it that way. Uh, kind of reminiscent of Nipsey. And I kind of felt bad because it almost felt like I was vibing because of the Nipsey thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you do sound like Nipsey also. But, uh, I mean, he got his own vibe. But it it definitely, <laughs> definitely made me think of Nipsey Hussle. But anyway, regardless, he held his own uh, storytelling, really, like, narrative flow, but still West Coast. Um, he, he killed it. He killed it. So I recommend if you're gonna listen to anything this week, man, go holla, go go check out Cushion Coffee and Cush Volume Two, my man. Problem, man, straight fight. Speaking of verses, yes, yes, yes. The aunties, the aunties came out to play for the verses, and um, did a hell of a job, man. Did a hell of a job. Oh. Uh, what up, my man Naughty Black in the building already. Okay. Glad <laughs> glad I know this thing is running. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm flying blind right now. I'm just trying to make sure y'all get some content. <laughs> but anyway, yo, the aunties, man. Patty LaBelle, Gladys Knight came together uh to do the versus battle. And the only thing that was battled was the devil. The devil, <laughs> we put a foot on the devil's head, man. Um, yeah, they did that. They, they, it was, it was classy. I think in the sense that we really wouldn't have thought it could be classy. I mean, you've had playeristic with playeristic vibe with Rick Ross and Two Chains. You know, what I'm saying you've had the the smooth thug side with Jada and Fabulous. You know, what I'm saying you you had the R and B superstar vibe with Brandy and Monica. You had the straight dance hall Jamaica vibe with Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. So you had all these kind of vibes or whatever. You had smooth uh, piano vibes with John Legend and Alicia Keys. So yeah, he's set these vibes or whatever, which is I think one of the great selling points uh, of verses at this point. But um, yo, yeah, it was a real classic. Old school, but not not dry. You know what I'm saying? It was old school, but it wasn't like I don't know. It just felt like you sitting with your grandma watching CBS. This one, 
<laughs> like we having these type of productions on the internet now. This is what we doing. This was happening. We we just not right, we not thugging it out in, in the kitchen with a microphone, with a laptop, with your dog locked in the back room. And you hope he doesn't bark. We're not doing that type of rugged stuff on the internet anymore. We got real full at full out. I can't even cuss because it's the aunties. Full out production. I ain't gonna, the highlight, the highlight of the whole thing for me, of course, is at the end when Dion Ward came out. Uh, mainly because, man, it was like, yeah, it had been three hours. <laughs> it was about 10 o'clock. I'm 39 for the next week. And I was tired. I'm like, I'm ready to go to bed. It is past my bedtime. So the fact that 80 year old Dion Ward came out at the end and had been sitting there the whole time, I suspect. She a G. <laughs> she a old G for that. Cause I would have been like, uh uh-uh, uh, I'm I'm going to bed. I'm I'm tired. Y'all gonna have to get me in here in, on the early vibe. I'm I'm not going to be dealing with I can't even change my voice because the other words. The other words sound like me anyway. <laughs> Don't front. Don't front. The other word sounds like how I sound right now. <laughs> no. The other words like chop. Chop, chop. I am, I am tired. It is 10 o'clock in Atlanta. No, in Philadelphia. I, I need to go to bed. I got to take my pills and lay down. I ain't got time for y'all to sit here and talk all day about stuff that's irrelevant to me because I'm greater than both of you, both of you. So um, can y'all hurry this up? I am, um, my bed, my, I, I'm supposed to be in bed at 11 p.m. It is 10 p.m. now. Please get me off this internet. I don't even do the internet. What is, Mm-mm. No, this ain't gonna work. See, I, I actually sound like Patty LaBelle. The old words sound like me now. I would say I'm going to hell, but I ain't gonna curse myself. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. I ain't gonna curse myself. Anyway, you move already running behind. Uh, my man, uh, call my <laughs> Seldrick, but wait, wait a minute. So tight. Anyway, what we got, man? I got, I got. Okay, um, Kanye is crazy. Kanye is officially crazy. Oh, uh, my man's was going on Twitter rants. Oh, uh, this week, and the most bugged out thing I've ever seen on Twitter. Like, it was kind of crazy because I guess. When I think about how sick my brain is already, just being online for the past 20 years, it, it didn't even phase me at first. It didn't even phase me at first. I wasn't even tripping. Like I saw it and it was like, oh, oh, Kanye is, is urinating on the Grammy. He has the Grammy in the toilet and then I can see Kanye's piss string on the internet. Bruh. Bruh. And it went even more ridiculous. So Twitter decided to put this fool on a 12 hour ban. How does he announce it? He goes to Rick Fox of all people. The fuck? <laughs> what? What? Ah. See, that's Gemini's. Felicia. Since you share the same birthday, I share a birthday with Lil Wayne. I just got to deal with a crackhead. You got people pissing on Grammys on, on Twitter. That's your twin, Felicia. That's that's Felicia's twin. Yeah. Imagine how crazy that is. Me and Felicia got the same birthday as Lil Wayne and Kanye. So imagine if they were, like, married. Oh, uh, that, that would be – that's me and Fee. That's how crazy our wedding's going to be. 28 days. 28 days. Hey, hold up. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
28 days of the recording. So most of y'all, when y'all hear this, uh, I think it'd be what, 25? Um, and then most of y'all, if you hear this, it'd be seven days to my 40th birthday. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I gotta keep it moving. <laughs> In other news, Trump, punk ass, oh, scary ass. Let me stop, man. Trump's scary, bro. So, you know, he supposed to ban TikTok. The deadline supposed to be the 10th, not the 10th, I'm sorry, the 20th. September 20th. He gave it September 20th for TikTok to sell themselves to the American government, Hitler. Oh, um, and so now we at the deadline. This who's gonna push the 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 ban to to November November twelfth elections. Yeah, he, come on, bro. You already ticked off black people talking about you gonna uh you gonna uh have a pro American a pro uh, patriotic curriculum. To go against the nineteen, I mean sixteen nineteen project, which talks about slavery in in the North America and and eventually in the United States. So you're gonna piss off black people. You're gonna piss off the young people who are trying to ban their TikTok. This nigga want to lose. <laughs> anyway, man, I gotta hurry up. Okay, so Trump, Trump, an idiot. Um. Of course, one of the biggest news this week was uh, Cardi B divorce offset. Um, as of right now, she has just uh, started. <laughs> Cardi B has started uh, an OnlyFans account. Like as I was preparing for this podcast, getting everything set up, which everything wasn't set up anyway. <laughs> she announced on Twitter that she has OnlyFans. I saw it. Did I register? No. Cause I'm a married man. I don't have no time for OnlyFans. Unless you got, you know, wholesome content. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Cardi B got wholesome cards content, but I wasn't gonna spend five dollars to see Cardi B trick everybody. Um, we weren't gonna see nothing. And if we do, it's gonna be screenshotted soon, soon enough. <laughs> Yo, wildin'. But I will say this, man. Um when you get down to that, I don't I don't judge people marriages, bro. Seriously. I don't judge people marriages. It is what it is. Um and this idea that she lost, no, they lost. They both lost. Uh shouts out to my man uh CERN. Um, he was saying, like, when, when you if you been if you've been married or if you are married, then you've been through troubled times. And you get to that point where you feel like, yo, it may be over. And maybe I brought it back, maybe you didn't. Divorce is serious and it's hard. And I know because this is a celebrity uh, environment, a culture that we in, we quit to make fun. Oh, I guess the WAP didn't keep them. Look, man, honestly, it, it, it's, it's deeper than that. And, you know, at the end of the day, the, the person that's going to be affected the most is culture, they child. So, Grant, get your jokes off. We know it's the internet. It's what we do. I, I, I'm going to get my jokes off. But um, just seriously, man, just have empathy, man. Understand that it's, I'm pretty sure it wasn't an easy decision. Um, hell, even her doing this OnlyFans thing is probably a, a, a reaction or, you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. I know for one thing, if I was a smaller content creator on, on OnlyFans, I'd be pissed off. It was already some some dis what was it, Disney uh actress trying to do OnlyFans and, and messed up the messed up OnlyFans banking situation. I guess, you know, it was easy for them to pay off the little con you know, little content creators. She came in and earned like a million dollars in a day. And so because of that, OnlyFans had to like restructure how they pay you money. So instead of paying money, like within three days, you had, you know, these content creators had to wait 30 days. And some people, it's day to day for them. You know what I mean? So, especially during the pandemic, this is how they kind of get by. I'm pretty sure Cardi B, unless she had some kind of previous arrangement with OnlyFans, where it's situated, where maybe she don't need the money immediately or whatever, 
If not, if she just randomly did it, man, probably gonna mess some things up for people. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave comments below. <laughs> I don't do that enough. Leave comments, man. YouTube. If you're on YouTube, man, leave comments below. Let me let me know what you think. Sometimes y'all do that. Shout out to Big Low. Shout out to my cousin A. He did that. He do that. You know what I mean? Uh, speaking of my cousin A. <laughs> ain't gonna put my cousin's business out there but uh somebody put their business out there i'm gonna get into this before we uh get to the next track um and i'd be remiss if i didn't i'd be remiss if i didn't get into it uh former tallahassee mayor uh andrew gilliam came out as bisexual um to uh in the media this week um What's the lady name? Tamron? Is it Tamron Hill? I don't know. Pretty little black lady. She um, uh, she just had a baby. She's like 40, 42? Maybe even 41. I think she's older than me, but barely. She just had a baby like six months ago. Anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, after the whole fiasco with uh Andrew getting caught up in a hotel uh with drugs and other paraphernalia and um a picture was taking him in the hotel uh apparently with a male escort uh, he went to rehab saying he had an alcohol uh addiction um but during the uh Tamron, uh interview he came out and announced to the world that he does identify himself as being bisexual uh he did an interview with his wife rj who uh, both uh, attended FAMU, um, now if, if I remember correctly, uh, when he was, um, what the world? Okay, if I remember correctly, when he was uh, SDA president, I think she was his vice president, um, and then they eventually got married, had kids or whatever. And I'm just gonna say this. Um, at first of all, if that's what he, identifies as that is cool with me and like i said with offset and cardi b i don't judge people marriages what you do in the confines of your marriage is between you two and god not you two the man but <laughs> the two people in the marriage and god whatever perimeters y'all set for each other within that commitment that's for you two to honor Ain't got nothing to do with anybody else. What do they say? Uh, these people join together, should no other, no man uh, put us under. Like it ain't nobody else business. Now I know people. First of all, a lot of y'all homophobic. Let me just say that. Even even if you give the the little bullshit line of, oh, I don't, I don't care what you do, but no, bro. A lot of y'all just homophobic. Y'all see, uh, well, why he had to put his business out? Bro, somebody else put his business out. I think I know who put his business out, but I ain't gonna get into that because I gotta wrap this up, John Morgan. But what I will say is, um, I will say is this. Uh, he put it out there because clearly the man got caught in the hotel room with a male escort. He had to come with some explanation. And what we can see is, is that is his truth. That's, that's how, that's who he is. That's how he feel. That's how he live. That's who he is. And honestly, for me, that has nothing to do with anything that I'm concerned with. What I'm concerned with is the work he's going to do moving forward uh, politically, um, and the work that he has done here in Tallahassee. With some has been good, some has been bad. But for me, I was I was proud to have him as my mayor. I was proud to have him as my city commissioner. I was proud to have him as uh my SCA president. I was proud to uh march up to the Capitol um back in what 99, 2000, um, with him leading the march. Finding out that he's bisexual. Don't change that because he ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't care what that man do with his penis. 
The only person that should care is his wife. And if she, uh, clearly whatever partners he, he may have or have had, but other than that, it don't mean nothing to me. I wouldn't, I, I'm judging him from his works and his character. And granted, um, finding out the way we did about what happened, um, did put a damage to his character, but I'm not judging him from being bisexual. I may judge him for, you know, trying to be undercover, but they also understand that is in these days and times, still clearly people are judgmental, ignorant in regards to sexuality. Um, even people coming out and saying, oh, he ain't bisexual, he gay. Fool, <laughs> you, you fools. Like you can be bisexual and bisexual means you still do you do heterosexual and homosexual activities. It's clear that he has a wife, he's had kids, so he's 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 conducted heterosexual activities and apparently he's uh done homosexual activities. At the end of the day, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. If him and RJ has an understanding of what's going on, that's on them. And I give my blessings. It is what it is. But I'm not gonna judge this man because he's bisexual. I may judge him from for what he what he does or what he do moving forward, but um I'm not gonna judge him for his sexuality. And I see a lot of y'all doing that and um you need, it need to stop. It need to stop. I think uh one thing too is you have to have the understanding that when it comes down to sexuality, man, it's, it's a spectrum. You can, it, it's not black and white. And too many of y'all just got this mentality that it's black and white and it's not, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just, we gotta do better. We gotta do better as a, as a people. And I don't just mean black people, I just mean people in general have to do better in regards to understanding and having empathy, empathy with what other people are dealing with. So, um, yeah. So anyway, shout out to them, man. We're going to go into this next, uh, next track. My man just came through and told me that it's going to go down. So I'm going to go ahead and announce it. Like I told y'all, man, Ashton Martin with the single water. We're going to play that. Then I'm going to come up with my man, Naughty Black, AKA the Bowtie Genius right here on the Enigma Sep Hour. You got time, baby. Boom, 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 and we back. It's your boy Enigma September, and this is the Enigma Sep Hour. What you just heard was my man's Aston Martin with water. Like I said, he got the video out right now. So everybody in YouTube, man, y'all make sure to go check that out. But without further ado, got my man Cedric Johnson, aka Naughty Black, aka the Bowtie Genius in the building. What do you do, man? What do you do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm chilling. Yo, ooh, low. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> Shit. Hey, hey, man. It's not like you just ran down everything that happened for the last week and a half, bro. I tried. I tried. And it was horrible. I'm going to tell it myself. Like, <laughs> I tried to do the Facebook Live joint and, <laughs> and it read me back 11 minutes. So I was just like, yeah, this, see? Trying so to be you, you, so you you going to Twitch too? I I need to, I need to, but it's so it's so much of a gaming. I app, know. I know, and I'm just like, yo, I don't I don't game, so, but I need to try to figure that thing out. I think it would make things uh, a lot easier. Hell, what I really need to do is get a uh, I need to get a desktop. That's that's the real, that's the real thing. Is go out and, and get a desktop so I can um I got some power because it's laptop trying to do all the stuff I really want to do especially with Twitch yeah you need you need some power you got it bro just just turn your RAM and shit up man you got it yeah like I, I like I told you last night we was talking <laughs> that, that oh the damn oh cash app is for real like hey yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah that, that, that's just a little setback. <laughs> yeah, I need some money. <laughs> Y'all want quality content. <laughs> we all need shoot, your, shoot your boys some dough. This ain't for free. Oh man, Kendrick Lamar said. 
this dick ate for free. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, bro. <laughs> but on, on, the, on the real, man, I, I appreciate you for having me as a guest, bro. Uh, hey, so I'm like, you a superstar, bro? Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm me. Man, a whole, whole nappy head over here, bitch. I'm, 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 I'm a supernova. Yeah. <laughs> legend. <laughs> Man, a whole legend over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm to tell people who, about my little, little who, mixtape. Who yes, you. <laughs> you, sir, are a legend. All right? <laughs> I'm trying to become one. I'm trying to die, trying to die one. You know what I mean? Nah, you, you, you're trying to, you're trying to be, uh, what is it, Pee Wee Kirkland? You're trying, trying to uh, become a legend in two games. <laughs> Man, two, three, four. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, man. Anyway, for those who don't know, or, or if, if we got some jits that may be listening, um, you under the age of 20, maybe. <laughs> My man, Naughty Black, of course, of the uh, infamous uh, Florida group, Nappy Heads, um, who blew it up back in 2000, 2001 with the songs FLA and Robbery. Um, and actually, for all you idiots out there, especially you jits, um, if you're in the studio right now and you trying to sing like you're gargling and you're telling the, the, the producer to, to put some things on your vocals, um, you can thank this man's brother and the group for them creating the environment to have you thinking that that's how rap supposed to sound right now. Cause yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's, kind of, it's, look, look, it's, it's the cheat code right now. You know what I mean? Got me think. Is, is <laughs> I won't even think about this question. This is, this is the question: Is T Pain a savior or a devil? Like, <laughs> 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 like yo, on one end, the like, and the curse. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yo, that was definitely innovative. You know what I'm saying? And essentially changed the game. But on the flip, like. Bruh, <laughs> all, these, all these jits trying to do the shit. God damn, nah. Um, no, Payne is a, uh, he's a legend. So, um, we ain't about him. We out here because my man said, as uh, just so you guys know, off talk, we just gonna be rambling and talking. Screw y'all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my man's here because he's starting uh, his own podcast. Um, he actually dropped one episode already. You can find out there in the internets. Um, the bow tie genius. And also, too, am I, let me refer to my man said three fold games, because he not only uh is a rap legend, and not only he's preparing to become a podcast legend, but he's also a designer legend with the bow ties. So let's give the man props for putting these bow ties out here. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, that, that's, I want to get into that. What what got you into the bow tie business in the first place, bro? So so check this out. Um, I always admired bow ties, man. Like it was something. Uh, honestly, and, I, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. It was Michael Jackson's album cover off the wall. Mmm. Mm. With bow ties, actually, it it it, it, it uh, inspired me with music and fashion. That particular album call. Yeah. Believe it or not. And um as a young black man, I also was a um mentored by Shahid Nigel, which is Payne's father. Word. He was in the nation of Islam. So with the with the bow tie thing, you see the mm. you see the ties for that. Yeah. The pun intended. So yeah, so when I was going around, I didn't see any any styles I like. Right. So I would I would learn how to make them. I would go find the fabric. And um that's how I developed. It was always around. I was always good at art. Like yeah. um when I graduated, you went to Rick, right? Oh no doubt. Southside, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Rick, man. <laughs> um Rickles High School, Tallahassee, Florida. Yeah, I know what so, it is. Miss West was Miss West the art teacher out there when you was there? I was probably not. I was I was an IB nerd, so her name, was, her name was Ellen West. She was on 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 the third floor on the art wing. Okay. And um, so 
um, she would have me doing various projects, like making pillows and stuff like that. But I would take the pillows. It wasn't, it wasn't like regular pillows. Right. I would put like uh, the Atlanta Braves, Florida State Seminoles. I, I would draw on the fabric and, and make those. Right. So I, I was kind of handy with the arts and craft thing. You know what I mean? So by the time my senior year came, uh, that summer, I actually had a, um, a, a, um, a chance to go to Fort Lauderdale Art School. Mm. I, I turned it down because of the situation I was in. I, I didn't have any money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. straight up, coming yeah. out of high school. So yeah. I turned that opportunity down. And I was still trying to pursue the music thing. Yeah. And I, I was getting way better at that. So and, uh, come full circle, it came back around, man. So um, I started um, looking at different fabrics for the bow ties, and I, I learned how to sew. I, I took classes. Matter of fact, I'm still taking classes uh, of sewing because I don't I don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to learn how to put a pair of pants together. You know what I mean? Okay. Or mean blazer. Um, right. So, and that's how uh, it became. Um, my homeboy Od uh, Od Mom passed. Right. Uh, I decided when OD Bomb passed to start my bow tie thing. And, okay. Um, the day of her funeral, I wore my bow tie. And everybody loved that bow tie. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and I knew I had something when everybody uh liked that bow tie. I knew I had something, man. Yeah. Well speaking since we in the in, in this lane real quick, you know what I'm saying? It'd be uh impossible to not speak on um, the legacy of um, one of the the most important um, member of the Nappy Heads, um, she dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my brother. I want to say I want to say his other name. <laughs> what <a> miss <laughs> name? Constantine. Thank you. She, she Constantine, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what? what how how did he influence you and how was how was his passing? How how did that affect you as well? You know what I mean? Oh man, it um I took it hard, man. Yeah. I, I yeah, that one that one I took hard. He kind of was preparing for it. Mm. And um we 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 stayed in the same neighborhood and we met and um I I remember how we met. So I, I was a basketball dude. I played basketball. I played I play uh JV for Rick and I play um City League basketball. Yeah. So I, I would walk by his house every day and he would be in the in the window, like, you know, mean one. Right. And so so I mean all back. It was him and, and, and my partner, it was Gator. Gator <laughs> was his cousin. It was uh, you know. Yeah. So uh, one day, <clears throat> I guess Shahid, he told me this is what he told me. I guess Shahid saw him standing and, and looking at me while I'm walking down the street. So Shahid was like, instead of y'all doing that, why you won't go introduce yourself, speak to him? Right. Which I knew him. I knew him, you know what I'm saying? Me and Kate was cool. But so, and and one day it, it just happened like that. Mm. It was like, you know, hey man, blah, blah, blah. And we we hit it up, bro. It was that, it energy, that energy was just there. Like, yeah, man. He was something, but he just didn't know how to figure it out. And then eventually it was like, all right. You know and what I'm saying? We, man, we was thick and thin, bro. Like, my family is his family, and, and his family is my family. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, but his, his passing, man, man we, we took it hard, bro. It was, man. Yeah, and man. For those, for those people that don't know, with, um, if it, if it wasn't for she, it, it, it wouldn't, the nappy heads wouldn't be big as, as, as we are. I right. mean, we was always destined for greatness, you know what I mean? But right. he he came up with, with the Robert thing. Okay. Because I was that kind of artist that I don't do, I don't redo people's music, period. Right, That's right. I mean. But he heard it, he felt it, and he knew it, he pushed it. Right. He gave it to the right people. And and that was his baby, you know what I'm saying? Like F FLA is my baby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? From 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 the concepts to everything, me me and Payne came up with. But yeah. Robbery, that was his baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, 
But yeah, man, we um uh, he wouldn't want us to be sad, bro. Okay. We, the, the the stuff I'm doing, the stuff uh Nuke is doing, OD is doing, that everybody's doing it, branching out into other ventures. Right. That's what he wanted. Right. Yep. yep. But he also wanted to be real. And that's yep. what we doing. Yeah, because we got the um old dog got the uh the pit bulls or he got the, the dog kettle thing, right? Yeah, and he got my jury, you know he do the, the gold. That's thing. right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, man, like I could like I said, I try not to the front because I ain't no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just knew him in passing, of course, just cause again, y'all were legends. So um so I tried not to really get into you know, you know, the blah 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 because I ain't gonna front, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't wanna be uh fake and phony out here or whatever. Uh, but just from looking from where I was at, I could tell that, like you said, he was the soul of, of the group, that he was, you know what I'm saying? Like he was just, he had, he always had that energy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just, that, that joyful. But you know where that come from, bro? His two favorite artists was Old Dirty Bastard mm. and Freaky Top from right. uh, Lost Boys. Yeah. And that's what he, and the, and the two people he loved, that's what he was to the group. Like he didn't want to be a front runner. He he was the he wanted to be the hype. You know what right. I mean? Right. That was that was that was him. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was his thing, man. I miss I miss him, I miss him, man. I miss him. Like yeah, man. That's why I dedicate uh every Tuesday. I I call it Constantine Tuesday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what I'm we gonna keep him alive though. We gonna keep his, his memories alive and you know. Music, everything, man. His kids. Right. I'm about to say, like, as long as his kids here, you know what I'm saying? That 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 spirit of his is still here. And as long as y'all, like you said, keep your memory alive, keep his memory alive. Um, he always gonna be here. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, yeah. and again, just the aforementioned uh with his brother and his brother's legacy, that's their legacy. You know what I mean? So exactly. so when we see, you know, these kids today. And how they approach music, like that's she, bro. You know what I mean? Like he's still yeah, yeah. he worldwide, he, he international. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So and then at the end of the day, it's a blessing. Um. But uh, yeah, man. Like I said, we got love for y'all boys, man. Y'all y'all some legends. Um. Appreciate but that. Speaking of, like you said, and the idea of uh, dipping into different uh, ventures and stuff. So now, like I said, you had the bow tie situation. Now you got the podcast situation. Yeah. What, what, what made you say, "Yo, I really, I want, I, I want to be Enigma September, and I want to, you know, do what he do because he looked so, so much of a, of a genius doing this podcast." <laughs> 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 so, so really, when, when I saw you, I said, I said, man. I was jealous. I was like, man, you know, I can do what he do, man. You know, <laughs> better than this fool. Come on, man. I can at least get the ladies um, to come through. <laughs> um, I always, I always told the fellas in the group because we have, uh, we got the life out the music. And um, my thing was, I never wanted to be remembered for those two songs mm. because I knew me coming on the Clay D, Beat Master Clay D. I just knew how people they categorized them in, in a certain decade. And after that, it was like, they didn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So me, I was like, I ain't going out like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's good, but I ain't going out like that. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. When I go out, my name is going to be everywhere. Right. My name is S. Johnson. My name is my name. That's my brand. You see what right. I'm saying? Right. And that's how I'm going out. So, um, with the pat with the podcast thing, excuse me. Um, it was more like me doing a full circle back to music again. Mm -hmm. Being a voice. Right. And uh, uh so I was telling my wife about it, and then I was like, This is what this is what I'm gonna do. It's not what I wanna do, this is what I'm gonna do. Right. And she was like, um, well, yeah, you could do this, you could do this. I said, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna be like Breakfast Club, I'm not gonna be like Joe Button. I'm not going. I'm not just going to give people what they want to hear. The, the fucking gossip. You know what I'm saying? Excuse right. my language. No, just, just we, can, we can curse on here. It's, it's not okay. Fuck, so fuck, like, the, fuck the FCC. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give my people something to think about. 
Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them entrepreneurship. I'm going to get them comedy. I'm going to get them sports. I'm going I'm to get them all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm going to get to it the way not that black is going to get to it. Right. In, in my own style. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I want to create my own name. Pay right. my own path. Right. And so with the podcast thing, it was like, okay, God gave you a voice for a reason. Mm-hmm. Use it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I can't, I can't, I, I'm, well, I won't say I can't do it with music anymore because I still can do what I do. But at right. the same time, like, um, <laughs> you know, <it's> like, like <laughs> yeah, you know, I get to them when I get to them. But right. um, I use my voice and because uh, I got kids, man, and they're older now. Right. Three, three boys, two girls, you know what I mean? Right. So it's like, it's like I have to set an example for them, and um, I mean, and this podcast thing, I, I love it, bro. Like me, you talked yesterday, like, bro. You spend it, uh, <laughs> hey, you spent like a whole two hours, and you like, damn, that ain't but fifteen minutes. I, I did all this for <laughs> fifteen minutes. <laughs> Trust me, like, I told you, it be it happened tonight. I'm like. Boom, 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 talk about this, that, and the third. I'm like, wait, this only been 20. It's only been exactly. 20. But bro, look, the funny thing about it is, if you tell me this, because we didn't talk about this last night. Doing the podcasting, if you didn't pay attention at school, you fuck. Now tell me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you can't put a subject together, you fuck, right? <laughs> right. You gotta, <laughs> know how to put a paragraph together. Know how to have structure. Exactly. Hey, man, know how to add because you got to look at the time and be like, "Hold up, uh, I got." <laughs> yeah, this this ain't you, you, again. Like I was saying, telling you last night, a lot of people they think is uh, a breeze, man. They think is oh, it's just a microphone and you talking. No, sir. No, no, no. no. This is a lot more work um, from the setup to uh, you know the the content. Make sure it's relevant content. Like you said, and, and the most important thing you said in regards to what you want to do with your podcast is have um, your lane, your niche. Yeah. You know? And because the crazy thing is the market is just now starting to open up. So, but even with it just starting to open up, there's like so much content. So yeah, it's like trying to find your niche and trying to find that audience that's going to, you know what I'm saying, go with what you're doing or whatever. Yeah. And exactly. also too, like trying to promote it, trying to let people know that you're doing it. Um, and then the time, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I said, the, like, like you said, you got kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. And rather they in the house or not, at the end of the day, that's still time. That's time for your wife, you know what I mean? That's time from whatever you're doing, putting it into the podcast. So it's not just turn on a mic and just or on the phone and just say whatever and then post it out on the internet for somebody to catch it. If you're serious about it, like bro, like yeah, this this it's another job, you know what I mean? Um, and especially being as consistent, like I mean, I just I'm at one ten, but the thing that people are at you know three, four hundred, five hundred episodes, like yeah. bro, like yeah, this is yeah, this ain't easy. So check this out. So you you just keep it going with the episodes, or you break it down to seasons? Oh, uh, I just keep it going. I keep it going. Cool, uh, cool. My man, my man Joe, Joe Ward. Now he had, I know he had seasons with uh, his sports podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, and oddly enough, inadvertently, I think we all from the go on breaks. I know Shelby went on the break. Um, That's my girl, man. That's my sister, man. Yeah, I was, I was glad when Shout, Shelby, out, shout uh, out to Shelby's world, man. Shout yeah, out to Shelby's world. You know, you said, said some props. But yeah, she um, but I know she took a break, and I guess I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. I was gonna announce it separately. Got I'm about to take a long break to those out there in podcast land in the YouTube land. Um, next week will be the last podcast I'm gonna do until November. I'm taking October off, uh, so I can focus on um my upcoming wedding. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I can give my product. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Black love, baby. Black love. What? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, 
but yo, I just, I don't, I just, I just roll with the numbers. I don't uh, okay. do a season. Um, I always take a break. Like I was in some podcast group, mm-hmm. and I think somebody asked, like, when do you take a break or when do you whatever? But I think outside of maybe Christmas, I think Christmas and inadvertently one year, uh, I took a break around my birthday. That was because Hurricane Michael had hit. Yeah, uh, we had a let's just, <laughs> we had a let's. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the first break I took. Was <laughs> God was like, "Hey, you need to relax. I'm missing a hurricane your way. Stop trying to put all this content out." <laughs> but um, but yeah, man. Uh, I just I just put it out, and I try to actually um put another cat out the bag. I'm trying. I'm I'm still thinking of like restructuring and mm-hmm. like other type of content. So. Um, so you guys out there, especially those who's been listening consistently, uh, don't be surprised if, uh, yeah, I come back <laughs> with it, with a whole new vibe. Um, but it's all about evolving. It's all about trying to, uh, find a way to, uh, capture people's attention. Most um, definitely. And, re- and, and retention. And, uh, one thing in particular, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it out. I was I was listening to my places, uh, places Raven, and um, honestly, when I record, I think of her because I know she's an avid podcast listener. Uh huh. So a lot of times when I'm recording, I'm thinking that Raven is listening to listening to this, and she's gonna say something. Man, hey, hey bro, 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 not not to cut you off, but you it's funny because I honestly I think most podcasters do that, bro. They at least have to have one person that they think is their audience. Right. Yeah. 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 You got to. I No, I was in the, pod, the same podcast group. Somebody was saying, because it's just them, that they literally put family members' pictures in front of them. So they just. Wow. Okay. Like talking to somebody. Yeah. 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 yeah you're right. You, you're absolutely right. But it's funny. So she was over here for the, uh, the Patty LaBelle, uh, Last night versus thing. <laughs> so I was like telling her, like, yeah, I just tried to do episode and we talked about this. She talked, we talked about that. She was like, boy, I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm on episode 80, 88. Wait, wait, no, that bruh. <laughs> 88. <laughs> I'm in the hundreds. I'm in the hundreds of tens. <laughs> Yo, 88. <laughs> she said, "Listen to me talking about baby face and, and Teddy Riley." <laughs> like what the? Like what? She was like, "I'm trying to catch up. I listen to a lot of other podcasts." I'm like, "Ah, oh, shit." <laughs> I'm thinking about you listening to current currently. So yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Like I try to do current events in hopes that you know, what I'm saying people are listening. <laughs> yeah, currently. <laughs> but uh, seeing that you know, maybe some people that's not. Keeping up, I'm pretty sure there's people that's you know listening uh, week by week or you know every other week or whatever. Uh, all right, all right. I don't anticipate uh, people like listening all day every day. I still don't anticipate people listening to the entire podcast. Like, oh, oh trust me, yeah, skip I through follow, the podcast. Man, I follow so many podcasts, and if I don't connect, I'm gone, bro. Right, right. Cause, cause um, I'm still studying. I'm a student, you know what I mean? Right. And, same. Um, same. So, it, but if it don't connect to, to what what I'm doing, and I can't gain anything from it, right? Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah. Just, but the thing is, what, what's funny, I love this because it get, it gives me a chance to all my followers on Facebook and and other social me, social media uh, sites. I'm trying to convert them, and you know, it's, it, that's kind of hard. You know what I mean? Right. People right. think it's think it's easy is it's kind of hard man no it's it's not it's just really uh trying to again find that that niche and trying to find that audience and going to your facebook page especially when that's probably mostly friends and family as me and you know as local rappers in different degrees um of course you you and, and nappy has been way more successful than i could even imagine me and my people were but Still, regardless of either if we just had a couple of songs that may have been on the radio to having national hits, yeah, 
people still look at you as a local rapper. And even with the podcast, it's like, I know you. Therefore, <laughs> I don't have to listen to your podcast because I know you. And so, yeah, you have to. I love it. I love it. Yeah. But you have to go out and, and stretch yourself and be like, look, let me get out of here. Let me get out of my, my spear and really have to go out and grab people in. Because there are people that's going to enjoy the content. It may have people yeah. that is in our circle at this point. It's people that's going to enjoy it, but we got to go out there and find them and, and bring them in, like you said, and convert them over. So, uh, and that's and, and and that's another reason why I started my I, I got my new website. It's the bowtiejeans.com. So on, on my website, you can purchase bow ties. You can listen to the podcast. You can buy merch. You know what I mean? So I'm 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 trying to get it, man. I'm just trying to get it, bro. And those on YouTube land, you should, if you look below, I'm going to have it posted um, below the video or whatever. So go ahead, hit that uh, hit that link uh, or uh, search that uh, link or whatever, those in podcast land. It'll be also in the description so you can go find his website there. Um, bro, bro, we're going to go ahead and get into the next track. <laughs> Who you playing, man? Who you playing? Okay. Actually, you know what? Is it I, one of my brothers? Matter of fact, I'm only gonna play your brother. I'm not even gonna try to. <laughs> I was, I was gonna try to mix it up. But, uh, <laughs> my dumb man, my old ass, <laughs> I was out, and out today and came home and was like, I gotta take a nap. Like it's, it's, it's forty already here. <laughs> I got, I got, I got nine more days. Like forty, like no, I'm, I'm here now. No, I'm here. Quick, quick plug, quick plug. Speaking of old old ass. So I'm up at age two, right? So you know we get older, we, we drink our tea, we drink our coffee. So right. speaking of merch, right? Mm, let them know. Speaking of merch, right? I got mm. them in. Y'all man. Yeah, man. Coffee more, tea more, whatever, man. Yo, got, those, those are podcast land, man. Yo, my man's got a t-shirt. You got the logo, logo game strong. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If, if if I don't promote, who gonna promote for me? Look, man, when you a good looking nigga, they can make they can make a a, a, a um, logos of you. You know what I'm saying? Like I made over there with strong beard and shit. You know what I'm saying? They have a strong. Ass. Come on, I love, I love strong as fuck, man. <laughs> fuck it. Let me get ratchet for a minute. Hey, that's my bro. Anybody? Again, I told y'all when I talk about Andrew Gilly, don't 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 come with me in the homo shit. My nigga look good. I can say that because I'm secure. He's secure. Fuck all y'all. Hey, when you're a man, you when you're a man, you're a man, right? You're a man. Hey, my man look all right. My man look all right. He, he, I, you can't see my face in the cartoon. I look crazy. I look like a brown Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, I'm fat. <laughs> but now, nah, um, thanks. We can. I just thought it was. Anyway, we <laughs> get these songs, man. Um, what we got? So we got Newt, uh, formerly of the Nappy Heads. He, he doing his thing still. That so, nigga ain't formerly of the Nappy Heads. That nigga, that nigga still in the clique. Thank you for calling. Yes, yeah. yeah. listen, bro. Listen, that's my brother, man. I'm so proud of that dude, bro. Yeah, I'm so proud of that dude, man. That dude. I mean, we had not to put his business out, but we have conversations and yeah, we had some big talks. And he told me what he was gonna do, and he did it. Yeah, and he's still doing it, bro. Yeah, so I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of him. I love that dude, man. It's my brother, man. Yeah, man. Um, I said I, uh, I was coaching his uh, his daughter. Uh, oh, yeah, man. Know, but <laughs> and and she she got that same like tenacity, man. She was she was out there being tough. Um, man, I kind of miss it now. Nah, I'm on COVID nineteen. I want to coach again. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, she was she was a tough cookie, man. And I was uh I was proud of her. You know what I'm saying? So when um, Newt would come out or or the board come out, I'd be like, yo, like. She she tough man. She go out there and yeah. you know uh, just had that fire. You know what I mean? I know yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably came from both of them. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Both, yeah. Uh, my mama and her daddy, but that same tenacity that Newt got, like she she got that. And um, okay. okay, 
Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go to other stories. We are Libras. We will talk y'all head off. That's why we both got podcasts. So let <laughs> me go ahead and take this break. And, <laughs> and, and y'all tell y'all, and hit y'all friends up, tell them to check in, man. This for yeah. the culture, bro. Oh, yeah. We still live on Facebook. Don't get it twisted. And also, too, man, y'all leave comments. I'm going to check. I'm kind of blind right now to the Facebook joint. So if y'all are leaving comments, yeah, apologize. But, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look at it, but I, I'm trying to get it. Go ahead, bro. All right, so what we got is we got Nuke Dog where well, I think I need therapy. And then I ain't gonna front. My favorite Nuke Dog, new song, uh S A N D. And then we're gonna come back, man. <laughs> and wrap this thing go. My man Naughty Black, aka the Bowtie Genius. This is the E Nuke Myself Hour. You got time, baby. Boom, 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 and we back. This is your boy, Nick Masep Timber, and this is the Enigma Masep Hour. What you just heard, my man, Nuke, Nuke Dog, with uh, I Think I Need Therapy and S-A-N-D. Uh, of course, my man, Nuke, was on the podcast uh, about a year ago. Actually, I told you wrong. I think I, I said I had a member of Nappy Heads each year, but um, actually, this week, last year, I had uh, Severe. On the, yes, on the podcast. And I think since then young I had to, Yeah. Young Drac. Um I don't know. I still call him little Chris. He gonna be <laughs> Yeah, he forever he forever little Chris. <laughs> was, hey, we were playing football with each other. It was little Chris, man. Was, <laughs> call you by your government. I don't care. Um, the, the, the little man. <laughs> See, matter of fact, man, Chris was the first person to uh Man, but Chris wasn't the first person to know where I was I was living at. I messed around and uh walked outside one day. <laughs> he was walking by. I was like, hey, like, what up, bro? He was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you need you can get your ride? He was like, yeah. So I shot him over to the studio or whatever. Um I guess it was close by, so you know what I'm saying? He was just trying to get yeah. over there real quick. But uh yeah, man, so shout out to uh you know Drake, man. That's 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 a bro for real. Yeah, so. Um but anyway, we go ahead and wrap this thing up. Um, we already announced the website, um, bowtiegenius.com. So yes, y'all gotta make sure y'all check that out. Um, and got the merch, so that all of the merch will be available on the website as well? Not all of the merch. Um, T-shirts, coffee mugs. I got something in store, it's big, bro. It's just no, like, it's- no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Speaking of big. Bro, Tyler, not you, bro. Tyler, the rest of y'all. Look, 4X. I'm a fat nigga. 4X. <laughs> I'm tired of going to y'all websites. Y'all stop at XL. I can't do that. <laughs> Yo, check this out. It's big enough for my neck. That's it. No, no, I feel you. That hey, if if, if all if all all two people listening out there. Um, <laughs> yes, that's the choice. Damon, hey, Damon John. I heard an interview with Damon John when, he, when they was putting out Fubu. Mm -hmm. He said they gave all the shirts, the first shirts, to big dudes. Mm. He said because all the skinny niggas would wear shirts one time and throw them away. We're <laughs> <laughs> rocking this, we're rocking this uh, Tariq knockout shirt. Hey, listen, <laughs> now nah, you know. <laughs> He said, he said, he said I'll admit dudes will wear their shirts 10 times in one week, bro. For real? Cause I, oh, shit, this shit actually fit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy some shirts. Like, God damn it. This shit don't. I feel all tired. All you, you uh, t-shirt makers and, you know, people like that, hey, take heed. Take heed. Thanks, man. Five X. God damn. We out here. <laughs> <laughs> Going to y'all people's website, man. They don't to get this. XL and the M. I can't even know no M. I haven't worn the M since 1989. What the hell? <laughs> Been fat. <laughs> you wild, <while>, man. <laughs> I tried. I, I just. But anyway, um. So yeah, uh, man got the merch. Got the bow, of course the bow ties, man. And honestly, um, uh, I thought of you and Shelby, man. I felt, I felt bad. I don't know if Shelby's gonna listen. Or even get this far into the podcast if she do listen. Um, but I'll take, I'll take. Yeah, with the 
with, with the wedding, I thought about like shooting like support, you know what I mean? Cause she would do the catering. And I was like, dang, I could have hollered at my man. Oh, uh, now they black about the bow tie. I don't have a bow tie, so I'm not rocking the bow tie. Um, you do the regular tie, bro? Yeah, I'm just doing regular long tie. Look here, it ain't me. At, at, at a wedding, bro, you doing a regular tie? It ain't me. <laughs> I am not in control. Oh. That's, oh, what, oh, I'm, that's, what, that's why hey, I give the apology to her. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Edit this out. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. I am just I there. I am just there to say I do. That's <laughs> yes. To death do you part. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> but no. Oh, um, but yeah. So I just the uh, let's let you know. That y'all was um y'all was on my heart. And actually, uh Shelby, actually she did uh she catered uh Will's um Raven October for those who don't know. She catered his wedding. Um so they but hey, man. I did think that nigga uh, have a blue and orange wedding. Please tell me that nigga didn't have a blue and orange wedding, man. A who? A blue and orange wedding. Oh no, no. Oh no, no. let it be whoever he, whoever whoever he married, thank you. Yeah, Kiki is is Team Seminole, dog. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't let it get twisted, man. Shout okay. out to Kiki. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? It was that, nah, nah. Okay. No, okay. it was. What was it? It was white and. I think it was white and purple. I think it was white and purple. Some of it. Okay. Like, okay. Light purple or whatever. Uh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful, man. I, I love my cousin. Uh, that's my bro. Like literally, like. Like we were two weeks apart, so uh, cause he about to turn forty, nigga. So <laughs> Will leave, right? Yeah, yeah. October eleven. That's right. That's right. Day before mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we out here. We are out here. Yeah, yes, sir. So um, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up, bro. I appreciate you. We could be here all night, literally. Can, can I give can I can I give a few shout outs, man? Please, please do, please do. Shout out to my nappy hair brother, man. OD, Newt Nichols, Savita Yandre, Rabbi, Doughboy, Doe Montana, T Pain, and rest in peace, she dog, bro. Special shout out to my brother, Bird Nino, Bird Nino, Bird Chess. Bird Chess coming out with a uh, podcast too, bro. It's called Feelings Over Facts. Okay. Basically, it's, it's, Hey man, I don't want to hit your face. Tell me how you feel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, bro. Yo, if you're listening, bro, holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the connect. That's why I want to do. Like I want to connect uh, all the um the podcasters and all that's all um network. You know what I mean? Like let's all build or whatever. Um and, and draw people in. So and also too, this means, sir, you gotta have me on your joint. Oh, to get the joint popping. See, so. let me tell you. Let me tell you something. See, I wanted to tell you that on the phone yesterday. That was my <laughs> attention. But no, let me tell you how this Libra stuff, how this vibe work. Yeah, you hit me up. I already had you wrote down, bro. Mm, okay. Like for real. I appreciate but that's, it. Bro. I didn't. I didn't say nothing because I, I said, man, I ain't gonna get this nigga the big head, man. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. I got a big head because like, I'm a fat, so you gotta worry about that. I'm, I'm, I'm Papa Pig, all right? <laughs> hey, shout out to your daddy too, man. Shout out to your daddy too, man. I, I oh. still remember he did um he did my stepmom funeral. And, okay. Um, and he he did a word, bro. Yeah, my, my my man, it's it's amazing. So you gonna have me all night. Um, <laughs> he's still but, out there. On, yeah, he's still out there at the church on mission. Uh, yeah, yep. Okay. Yep. I said I did a video for them um, about a month or two two months ago. Okay. Uh, so if you go to the go to the web web page, um, I, I shot a video, put an intro of the page and the Facebook page. Actually, he just joined Facebook. He on Facebook. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he don't do much, but he don't <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, uh, he's still out there. Um, actually, when we get back from the honeymoon. Uh, he's having a retirement party, so he's about to retire uh, from Florida State. 
which is the main okay. reason why I even rock Florida State. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> they paid they pay my daddy and he paid child support. So, uh, shout out to Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be fair. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, he's about to retire. And um, and also, too, like, he was supposed to, he was supposed to be in his last year coaching. Mm-hmm. Uh, but because of the pandemic, uh, uh, the city of Tallahassee, um, they are opening up the, the, the field. So, I don't know yeah. what we're going to do about that. Um, actually, the plan was for me to uh, coach with him because I was mm-hmm. at Pop Warner. Um, I was going to come back and coach with him because it was supposed to be his last season, but that didn't pan out. But other than that, he's still preaching. He's still um, – he's like about to retire. So now he's going to be able to dedicate more time to the Word and uh, doing God's work. So, um, okay. okay. Yeah, that's what my dad, man, uh, Reverend Nathaniel Nicholson. Um, I know the ratchetness don't reflect. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but uh, but I tell you this, and again, yeah, we'll get up out of here. I'm not a PK, all right. Let you guys know, my dad <laughs> didn't become a minister until I was grown. He ain't gonna minister in 2001. I was 21 years old by that oh, time, man. so okay. I am not a PK. My dad, when we was staying with him, when my parents were together, <laughs> he was drinking, cussing, and smoking. <laughs> my dad was out here, but. That's the testimony, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I saw yeah. where he was and where he's become. Yeah. And I, I, through him, I truly see uh, how uh, God can work in a man's life. And um, I told him this uh, just uh, about a month ago, because he's going to actually be officiating the wedding. And I told him, like, he's, he's as an adult, and, and I think as any father, this is what you – you you will hope that your son look up to you. Um, and I have. I look. I've seen the path that my dad has, has done as far as his growth is go, mm-hmm. and I've tried to mimic that. Now, granted, I understand I have to have my own uh, my own life and my own steps. But I've always, as an adult, um, looked up to him and see how he's moved and how he's done things, um, and. I also, too, I don't try to focus on the past. I, I can, I don't sit back and say, "Oh, he used to do this and do that." No, I see where he's grown from, and I just, I try to do the same. I try to have that same growth. So, um, so yeah, and that's just. I know for any father, us being fathers, I know that's that's what we try to do. It was that line in uh, Black Panther. My man said, "If I if I don't prepare my 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 kids for my death, then I haven't done my job." You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you remember that because I didn't even remember that damn line. Yeah, that was I almost teared up in that movie. <laughs> when you said that, like, and granted, I had, you know, Mackenzie was probably like 18 months at the time when that movie dropped. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I was new daddy. But uh, yeah, when the uh, king, when the when the, the, uh, the uh, to, not T'Challa, but T'Chaka, uh, when you yeah, said, fall, right? yeah. Yeah, that, that thing hit. That thing hit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, a father has failed his job if he hadn't prepared his, his children for his death. So, you know, that's my thing is making sure that, you know, my daughter um, is ready. And I think my dad has done that. My dad has done his job. Um, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be proud to see me um, join and, with my fiance and, and truly become a man. Um, on the flip side, I can say this. Uh, seeing you uh, being a married man and loving on your wife, um, admiring your wife, um, and also to uh, you know being a, a father and a father figure. I'm gonna uh, go love on them right now. Yeah. Hey, on. yo, yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, uh, I told y'all what people do in their marriage. I do not just do your thing, bro. Do your thing. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to say I admired you, bro. I admired you. Um, I always admire you and I admire you continuously now um, in regards to, uh, you know, you just being a black man in this, in this country and Thank doing you. your thing. And I, I appreciate that, bro. Straight up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No doubt. So on that note, before I get my butt in trouble, I'm going to have to do some loving <laughs> to get back on the good side. We're going to go ahead and end this thing right now. Um, also, too, before I get up out of here, man, uh, RIP, RIP to um, uh, 
one of our uh, man, we lost a, a September, we lost a, a Libra uh, this week. Uh, Felicia lost a cousin, um, his cousin Vaughn, and uh, we had a funeral today. So I just want to give uh, give peace and, and respects to her and my new family. And um, you know, it's good to, to see people for the unfortunate event. But uh, yeah, I just want to give my respect to uh, our fallen uh, our fallen family member. But without further ado, uh, like I said, next week uh, should have a special guest if he doesn't flake out. <laughs> Raven October. If not, <laughs> you definitely would get me. Uh, like I said, ma'am, do this one last episode before I take this break and come back as a new man, um, older, wiser, and locked down. So uh, without further ado, man, this is the Enigma Self Hour. You got time, baby. <laughs>